Down the down the down the down the bow down the down Guys! Guys, stop me if you've heard this. It was WonderCon. It's still going on. But I want to talk about some of the news we've heard today. I am the fantastic Chris Plastic, and this is Shiny Plastic People. If you didn't see the intro before, that would be weird, right? Because we're right after it. Do me a favor. Like this video. Comment on this video, because I want to hear your thoughts on some of these announcements. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. That'd be cool. Uh, we're going to talk primarily McFarland DC. There is one other thing I want to cover at the end of this video because I like the franchise. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. Let's kick it off right now with this slide. Um, you can't see it because of my framing here. These are figures we already knew about. Some of these should be in people's hands already. It should be there shortly, but it says spring 2025 in the corner. So I only bring this up so that you know right away these dates are probably wrong. I did ask uh, the one person I talked to at McFarlane and he wasn't real clear about it so he kind of went, huh, yeah, that's probably uh, a mistake. So make of that what you will. Uh, but yeah, I want to get right to it. This was the first wave I saw. This is so cool. Uh, this is a Mr. Freeze. I meant to look at my other two Mr. Freezes to see if this is just a repaint. Doesn't matter. I'm buying him. I think he's rad. I like that BTAS uh, paint scheme on him. We have Ambush Bug. Sweet. The new 52 Booster Gold. This will be Michael's third figure in DC Multiverse. First was the two pack with with uh, Blue Beetle. Then we actually got his form as Wave Rider from Convergence. So it's cool to get another Booster Gold. I believe this is this Booster Gold's first look. Or first time in plastic. Ah, correct me if I'm wrong. And then, of course, we get an updated Robin Tim Drake. The symbol on his chest looks a little small for my tastes. I don't know about you guys. Oh, scroll. There we go. Scroll. Scroll. It just looks small to me. Uh, I could be wrong. I don't know. We'll see what it finally looks like when it comes out. I'm just excited to have it. Looks like a wired cloth cape. That's cool. I've I've come around on cloth soft good capes. I was team plastic cape, but lately some of these figures have been really changing my mind for whatever that's worth. So yeah. Uh are you buying any of these? All four of these are buys for me. Next we have these chase figures. Uh we have Manhunter, we have Reverse Flash from the New 52, and we have Sportsmaster. Per my understanding, these aren't repaints. These are just going to be short-packed figures. Uh, Reverse Flash looks to be based on the older Flash buck that we we saw Wally on in that first slide, if you haven't seen him already. It's it's a little gaunt. It's a little thin. It's it's showing its age, but I'm not I'm not upset. I'll probably buy it if I see it. I would I would buy him. I would see Manhunter. I don't know about Sportsmaster. I just don't know. And this brought me such joy. A Batman Forever wave. Um, Again, if I was better, better prepared, I would have checked to see if this was the Val Kilmer in the multi-pack. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I think it's his more standard Batman look. Uh, but we get the, son the sonar suit. We get Chris O'Donnell, Robin. That's that's gotta go on my shelf. Uh, Two Face, Tommy Lee Jones, Jim Carrey's the Riddler. I am, and I I said this straight up. I am bummed we're not getting Sugar and Spice. I would have loved to have seen them here. They're a little bit sexist. It probably don't fit in the world today, but God, I just would have loved to have them. This is a build a figure wave though, and it's a surprising build a figure. It's the Nightmare Bat from Val Kilmer's uh, Nightmare and his therapy sessions with Chase Meridian. Therapy's good, kids. Never say no to therapy. If you need it, it's good to talk to people. Do it. Do it. Uh, again, this is a must-buy wave. I am so annoyed with the amount of money McFarlane's going to command for me in this next year. I hate it. Uh, some... 
collector edition figures. We get Captain Boomerang, which is not a buy for me. Thank you. Starfire is a buy for me. This classic super styles esque super styles superpower style esque penguin is a buy for me. So that's sixty bucks since the like thirty bucks a figure. And then we get uh Bat Manga Batman, which is, is a skip. I thought the uh superpowers was fun, but I don't need to spend thirty bucks on an articulated version. Does look like he's built on the night fall Batman. Which is a really, 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 really good Batman. So if you don't have it yet, if you missed out on the blue, if you missed out on the upcoming black, probably worth buying for that reason alone. And then Sergeant Rock, I, I almost jumped ahead, and Superboy. Connor Kent in this look has not had a really good figure. The best so far is probably... The DC Direct Contemporary Teen Titans figure, but it, that's a limited articulation. The DC uh, Signature Series offering from Mattel sucked so bad. It was such a bad figure. I sold it for a decent chunk of money, but it, it's it's not good. It was just bad. Just bad to its core. It was a bad toy. So I'm excited to see McFarlane hopefully give us our best version of Connor Kent in this look. Yet. Uh, we got the Tumblr. I forgot to grab the slide with uh, Lucius Fox. He does come with Lucius Fox. So that's very cool. I wouldn't be surprised if this is McFarlane exclusive. Uh, I My understanding is this is a two-seater. So if you're Ryan Dole and you want a two-seater Batmobile, sorry, it's not 89, but you can fit two figures in this guy. So that's very cool. I expect the price to be higher on this than the 89 Batmobile, just with inflation and considering that the um, Batpod was as much as the 89 Batmobile. All right, uh, our next digital wave. These figures are $24.99 each. I was expecting it would be higher with the first wave. But if you buy the Man of Steel Superman, the Longbow Hunters, Green, Lan uh, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, and the classic Ray Palmer Adam, you get to build a digital animal man. This, I know it looks just like the Target figure, but it's not a physical figure. It is an NFT. NFT. Each figure will come with an NFT of that character. So depending on how you feel about that, there you go. I, I, I am uh, still excited. Uh, I, I, I plan on buying at least two of these. We'll see if the Superman can wow me. I've bought so many Superman lately. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. BTAS wave. Oh, this does my heart so good. Uh, we got Hardak Batman. It's a nice way to get Batman in there. It's a little bit different. Uh, again, all these figures, uh, I believe, with the exception of... Bruce Wayne. Did we get Bruce Wayne before? I don't know. But he's pending license uh, approval, licensor approval, but he is the build a figure. You buy Hard Dak, uh, Poison Ivy, Phantasm. Oh, I need that Phantasm. I need him. I need, well, excuse me. I need her. I need her so badly. Oh, and Bane. Uh, I am so glad to get another chance at these figures. These previews don't seem to have a lot of cell shading, so that gives me hope. For the future of this line. That is our McFarlane offerings. I'm going to hop back. Over here for a second. Um, like I said. I'm going to run the whole thing here again. You know the like. The comment. Tell me what you think of these figures. Are you going to buy any of these McFarlane toys? I am buying more than I am not. Much much more. Uh, so the last thing I wanted to talk about. Is actually from. Hasbro. I am a Ghostbuster fan. Here I am. I'm a Ghostbuster. Um, I just saw Frozen Empire today. Didn't like it as much as Afterlife, but I still thought it was good. I was still enjoyed. I still enjoyed it. I was still enjoyed. Oh, I'm having a stroke, I think, mid-recording mid here. Make of that what you will. But yeah. Um, so with that in mind... Let's go ahead and hop over here. 
Hasbro is giving us an 118 three and three quarter inch scale Ecto one, which is would be weird because we have never had Ghostbuster figures that scale. But wait, they're giving us O ring Ghostbusters. Oh, they I don't love these O ring figures. Um, I had a ton of the the GI Joes as a kid, so I do have kind of a soft spot for them. But I'm gonna buy them. I'm gonna buy them. And the fact they're calling them plasma pack makes me think it's just a, a four pack you're going to buy probably on Hasbro Pulse. Maybe fan channel. They probably said in the stream, if you were at the at the panel. Let me know if you know a link to that stream. You know, post it down below. Because I sure would like to like watch that. And I'm sure other people would too. So that's very cool. That's very, very cool that we're getting more Ghostbusters. Someone said no plasma figures today, which makes me wonder if they brought them up and if that means the line isn't dead. Oh, I should mention all these photos are from Toy Arc. Um, I know the, the McFarlane uh, figures were just, I think, screen caps that uh, Todd did on his Instagram, which was really cool. I think Hasbro did a stream somewhere as well. Like I said, if you have a link to that, please post it below. Anyway, guys, uh, this is short. It's sweet. I just want to know what you think. Are you going to be spending any of your money on these toys? On the Ghostbusters, perhaps? Really cool if it, you did. Cooler if you did. Anyway, I've been Chris Plastic. This is Shiny Plastic People. And let yourself shine. You know, uh, it's a good time to be positive. I'm a negative guy, so let's preach some positivity. Put some positivity in the world. Thank you. Have a good day, guys.